Hey friends, I'm Lynn Allure, finance professional, entrepreneur, and content creator. So I think we can agree that we all love a good self-care moment, but sometimes your current lifestyle and your financial goals don't align. And when that happens, it's okay, it's okay. You do not sacrifice the goals, you adjust the game plan. So if you like to stay on trend without breaking the bank, let's talk about some ways that you can achieve the lifestyle you desire without sacrificing your financial goals. Let's talk skincare. So the hard part about finding a bougie, upscale, nice, effective skincare routine is that it's hard to find the right products that are budget friendly. It can also be so, so overwhelming because there's a ton of products out there that all claim to be so transformational. My suggestion here is to do your research on active ingredients that would be transformational for your skin. Everyone's skin is different. So make sure you do the research pertaining to you specifically. You wanna pay close attention to the active ingredients because some skincare products aren't expensive because they're transformational, they're expensive because of the brand name attached to it. Drugstore products can also be as effective as big brand name skincare can be with the right active ingredients. Brands like The Ordinary and Inky List are great examples of brands that don't have a lot of the extra ingredients and blatantly list out the active ingredients for you, making it easier for you to identify what active ingredients you're adding to your skincare routine. So we've all heard the rave about retinols being amazing for your skin, for fine lines and wrinkles, but some other active ingredients that you can look out for would be vitamin C, which is amazing for hyperpigmentation, salicylic acid, which is awesome for acne, and hyaluronic acid, which is so bomb.com for adding hydration to your skin and having your skin looking plump and supple and amazing. What you can do is visit an esthetician in your area and they can help point you in the right direction to find the right products for your skin, right active ingredients that you can be looking for, and they'll also help you with the layering of these products as well. Now, if you've assessed your budget and you're like, uh-uh, I do not have it in the budget to go for a consultation with an esthetician, I would highly suggest you check out YouTube University. On youtube.com, there are a ton of board certified dermatologists that offer a wealth of knowledge and information, and it's for free 99. Some of my favorite YouTube channels to watch about skincare are Dr. Alexa Stevens, absolutely love her, Dr. Lee, and Dr. Vanita Ratan. There's a ton of free game on YouTube, but just make sure if you are learning about skincare on YouTube, you're learning from someone who is a professional and in a position to give this professional advice. A little pro tip, before you go out and buy any medical grade skincare, make sure that you go to your family doctor first because they can prescribe you something that could be covered via insurance or you can buy for a fraction of cost. Or if you live in Canada, they can refer you to a dermatologist making those visits free of charge. Now let's talk about self-care in the home. I love setting a nice, beautiful vibe at home. Set some candles, put on some music, watch a dope movie that you been meaning to watch or re-watch a movie that you absolutely love. Set some time aside to do whatever makes you feel relaxed, zen, and at peace. Drugstore products here can be effective at setting the tone for your self-care at home as well. We're talking foot scrubs, lip scrubs, hair masks perhaps. Do what you gotta do, but the goal here is moderation. You can even DIY your own body scrubs with sugar, honey, and lemon. I'd also suggest learning how to do your own maintenance. Maintenance can be some of the most expensive charges on a girl's monthly budget, but if you learn how to do your own hair at home, your own nails, your own hair removal, then you're able to save a whole lot of money every month on just everyday upkeep and everyday maintenance. And believe me, these things are really important because if you look good, you feel good and everyone wants to feel their best. So if you desire to put an effort into your physical appearance, but it's also very costly, I would highly suggest learning how to do a lot of the upkeep on your own. Hair appointments, for example, are something that can cost four or $500 for a really great stylist, but when done at home can cost about 40, 50 bucks. So that's a big cut just right there. If you're not sure where to start, good old YouTube University, once again, has what you need on tutorials. Next, let's talk about home expenses. 
I, for one, love flowers in the home. I am obsessed. I feel like they brighten up any dull room. They also brighten up my mood. And they're also that little touch of femininity that I love to just see around the home that just makes me instantly happy. It sparks joy for me. Shopping bouquet flowers every week can be really expensive over time because although they're only about 30 bucks per bouquet, depending on the arrangement you want and if you're doing it every single week, it can definitely add up. But if you opt for something like infinity flowers, it can be anywhere from 100 to three, 400, depending on the size of bouquet that you want. And it lasts up to three years. Another thing you can do is opt for faux flowers, which lasts until you decide to throw them out. <laughs> but they still add that visual aesthetic to your home that you may desire. Another thing you can do for your home is to shop places like Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, garage stores, etc., to find pre-loved furniture pieces before you add something brand new to your cart. You'd be surprised what great things you can find in places like that because some people are just leaving the country and need to sell all their furniture ASAP. Some people are moving in with a partner and don't need two living room sets, two beds anymore more and they need to get rid of some stuff. So I would definitely not look past shopping pre-loved items because there's a bunch of great stuff on there that you can find. Another home expense is rent or mortgage. Now rent and mortgage tends to be the highest living expense that most people have. If you're open to it, I would highly suggest consider getting yourself a roommate. So the key here when choosing a roommate is to choose someone that you know is responsible, reliable, and trustworthy. So it's even better if you can find a friend who also wants to cut down on living expenses and find a dope place that you guys can share together. If you don't know anyone personally, try asking around in your friend group. Having a roommate can be the difference between living in your dream neighborhood versus living a commute away from it, living a few minutes away from it. So if you're open to living with a roommate, I say go for it. Remember, it's not what's on you, but it's what's in you. And self-care is not selfish because when you practice self-care, you exude self-love, you exude confidence, positivity, and abundance, which is excellent and beneficial for everyone around you that you share spaces with as well. So that's it for now, but I would love to know what are some ways that you do bougie on a budget? Let me know in the comments and visit slice.ca for more on budgeting.